What's up, everybody? Um, so here we are. Uh, yeah, sorry about how long it's taken since the last time I did a video. That was because I graduated college. Yay, big, big me. Anyway, um, also why the studio is in a bit of a transition at the moment. But hey, got new, nice, neat equipment, kind of, sort of. Just need to get some air conditioning in here so I can turn this fan off. Anyway, um, hi everybody, welcome back. It is getting to be haunt season again. Hopefully you guys have been working on your stuff and you are almost ready to open. Getting to be that time. But anyway, um, yeah, today we're going to be watching... A video from a home haunt out of Jacksonville, Florida, which is right about an hour from where I live. Um, yeah, guys. So this is going to be uh, the the Walker Fright House, which I, I saw their la I saw last year's video, and last year's video was pretty good. Um, had some stuff to work on, so we'll see what happens. But one thing I will say is I know that my videos, I tend to be a little uh, constructive critical of haunt actors a little bit more than the sets and the lighting, the design and everything. That is because that's what I do. Um, that's what I specialize in is haunt acting. Uh, maybe one day you'll be able to see that. Oh, well, maybe. We'll see. But um, the thing is, is that um, this guy, the guy that runs the Walker, Walker Fright House, he relies on his family and his kids to do a lot of the acting. So I'm going to kind of lay off of that just a little bit. But still, let's go ahead and take a look and let's check out the Walker Fright House. And boom. Oh, by the way, uh, all of the framework that you see here is, um, it is for my gaming channel on Twitch. Um, you'll find that link below. To all a good night. That's cool. I can tell you right now, the um, the lighting so far is a big improvement. So, let's see here. There's the house. Hey, your set looks a whole lot better than it was. I have no idea where... Oh, yeah, see? There you go. Had to tell somebody to invite him in, because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, Alright. Is that $3 donation? Okay, cool. A lot of people have issues with home haunts asking for donations. I don't. Because as you can see, a lot of work goes into this. And there's nothing wrong with asking for a donation as long as you keep it kind of low. Uh, don't be asking for like 20, pop, 20 bucks a pop. You know, you're not charging admission here. But still, yeah, man. Yeah, the lighting has definitely improved a lot. A uh, lot of improvement on the lighting. You s yeah, set design. It's great. It's good stuff. Hello. 
Okay. One thing that you're going to find is a lot of um, a lot of stuff that you'll find in like uh, Spirit Halloween or stores like that. Sorry, had a moment. <laughs> but yeah. And that's because, once again, you're working with what you got. That's fine. Oh, recently, I found out about this Halloween store in Cal... Your scenery kind of fell. Your, your scenery kind of fell back there. You might want to fix that. Yeah. Anyway. So I found out about the store in California called the best Halloween store ever. Honest to God, I took a look at it. It's hard to beat. It really is. You might want to take a look. Do you now? Do you really? Open, open your friend? Open your friend. Okay. Looks like you got a lot of friends here. Yeah. You know? I don't know. You're the one that told me to open it. But hey, looks like you got room for one more. Anyway. Uh, God, that's some good lungs on that thing. Anyway, um, yeah, man. Their biggest problem last year was the lighting. The lighting was really not very good. I mean, the scenes were good, the actors were passable, but this year, they really kill it on the lighting. The lighting is great. Ah! Ah, I, I know I, pro I, I promised I wouldn't say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. You know, clowns are the one thing that I really will. Uh, the crappier the animatronic, as long as it's a clown, makes it better. I don't know why. I just love it better that way. It's a scary potty. Mm, relax the shoulders a bit. Getting tense from this video. That's some good lungs on that kid, I can tell you that much. I know it's not real. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I've seen this quite a bit. It's, it's... Uh, I promise I won't say anything. That's cool. I really like that prop. Wasn't expecting that at all. That's awesome. Oh, look at that thing. That's so cool. Huh. I wonder if that was, if he bought it like that or if he had somebody do it. Because that's cool. Oh. Anyway, um... Little half wall vagina. Okay. I've always loved those things. I can't help it. Yes! Okay, I, I know what effect you're going for, and I'm hoping that it works. I really hope that this works. It's kind of hard to tell without an actor in there kind of bobbing up and down. Yeah, that's cool. Ah! Kind of wish he was in the shot, but, you know, that that's still a cool effect. If I ever go into a haunt and they, they've got one of those rooms, cool. All right, this snake is a lot better than last year. 
Last year, it was it, it relied on a puppeteer, and the the puppeteer really needed some work. This year, they put it on a hydraulic system, and it works out a lot better. Especially with the clackers. The clackers going off really made it. Get out of the shot. I remember that guy from last year. He's cool, but you know. Oh. Werewolf. What's up there, wolf? Yeah, man. I mean, the light. Oh, God. Look at that scene. Look at that scene. That's great. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, God. Okay. My, my camera kind of crapped out. Hang on. Well, there we go, guys. That's uh, that's Walker Fright House in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, once again, I said that I wasn't going to make any comments on the actors, and that's because he relies on his family, not on his kids, and that's fine. Um sets are looking a whole lot better and that's because see that's the thing the sets really haven't changed that much the sets are completely um well they're they're about the same level as they as they always are but the lighting the lighting made a huge difference yes it was great i mean this is this is like really good quality haunt um, I'm not sure how long the walkthrough actually lasted. I'm probably going to post that right here where my finger is. Post that little timestamp there to see how long the walkthrough was. But yeah, man, um, if I could give a $3 donation for that walkthrough, I would give a $3 donation for that walkthrough because that was actually a lot of fun. Um, some things to work on, uh, but really there's not a whole lot more to, to really be concerned about because your sets are good. Your lighting is great. Uh, your placement is awesome. Uh, maybe I'm super glad that you didn't put any music into it because, you know, saves me from having to edit it out. But at the same time, maybe add a little bit for like the ambiance, you know, um, that could be fairly simply done with a, with, uh, computer speakers and the old MP3 players. Um, my buddy Jason, who runs the devil's attic, um, devil's attic in Louisville, Kentucky, he, I'm not sure how he does it now. He might still do it the same way, but every room was on one of those tiny little MP3 players hooked up to computer speakers. And you would never know the difference. You'd never know because it sounds so good. Uh, maybe something, you know, you, you can Jimmy rig pretty much anything to, to work to what you want it to be when it comes to audio um, or maybe, I don't know, maybe your situation is different. You've got a great haunt. This is a really great setup. I love the flow of your rooms. The lighting is spectacular this year and it is a huge improvement over last year's video. <sighs> Excuse me. For those of you who want to see, he's actually got a channel that I'll put the link down below. Where you could go see it. He's also got um, video of the daytime walkthrough, so that you could actually see all the props and everything. Plus last year's video, and you could see the huge improvement that was made between these two, but be, be, between one year. Yeah, so that's the Walker Fright House in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, if they're doing it again this year, hopefully they are. Uh, go ahead and run over and. Give them, give them a, give them a walkthrough, you know, uh, but yeah, if you like that, be sure to like, and subscribe 
And um, if you really feel kind of froggy, then um, go ahead and buy one of the t-shirts. Uh, over on Tee Public, they're really good quality. This is one of my t-shirts right here. It's my Ilver Morning shirt because I'm American. I ain't British. So if I was going to go to a wizarding school, I was going to be going to Ilver Morning. Be sure to tune in next time where we'll probably be playing a video game. I'm not sure yet. Either that or we'll be watching another home haunt. But yeah, take care, guys. Oh.